This episode of Buford, South Carolina Fishing is brought to you by the following local businesses. So today the focus is sheep's head and I'm so dedicated to stay focused on sheep's head that I only brought one rod, a short rod for sheep's head, bottom sweeper jig tied on. One challenge that I have today is that the bait store didn't have any live fiddler crabs. So I got a lot of frozen ones. Very likely I'm going to pass up a lot of opportunities to, to catch some big redfish just to go target sheep's head today so the weather conditions are perfect we just gotta get on the fish and get them to bite so hopefully it's gonna be a good day of targeting sheep's head if you enjoy this video please don't forget to leave a like and if you haven't yet please subscribe for more wow this water is actually really clear I'm probably an idiot for not trying to target redfish today but hopefully it pays off so I'm about to pass a spot where I almost always find big redfish. Not gonna fish for them today. I've got the camera on because I just want to document whether or not I see them. Coming up like right where they like to sit now. So get ready. And <laughs> there they are. <laughs> oh my God, it's like 20, 30 fish. That's funny. Should have just had something tied on the cast at him. Guarantee that would have got, oh, there's more. Wow. There they go. Another, oh, what? It's, it's such a huge amount of fish. Look, I hope the camera picks that up. More, look, look at this. This is, this is the most fish I've seen in forever. It's crazy, like, I'm gonna stand up. Oh my God, look at that. That is insane. Oh my God. This, this is my luck. Look at this. They, they don't really even care m that much that I'm sitting here in the kayak. All right, I'm gonna put a fiddler crab on and throw it at them. 50 fish in a school here. I'm just throwing a fiddler crab into them. I know I already said that I wouldn't do this, but, but look. How can you pass up on that? How can you not want to do that? Just sight casted a nice, probably close to slot or over slot redfish on a fiddler crab. Sight casted it on a fiddler crab with a sheep's head rod. frozen fiddler crab on a sheep's head rod with a bottom sweeper jig. Oh, almost lost them for a second. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's an over slot. There's no way I can not give that a shot. Especially when I ran right into them, they didn't, they didn't run away really. They were just hanging around. Yeah, the water is heating up because they are just fighting hard. He does not want to get in the net. I really tried so hard not to get distracted by these fish. It just did not work. Look 
Ah, man, they do not give up. I mean, this is an overslot fish, but not by much. There we go. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah, it's definitely overslot. Ah. Got him on a sheep's head setup with a frozen fiddler crab. And I sight cast it into the school. That's the first time I've ever done anything like that. Perfect hook set though. Not gonna measure the fish or anything because I really shouldn't even be fishing for these. I wanna go look for sheep's head. That's, yeah, I'd say 25 inches. Just gonna let them go right away. So it's really hard to leave fish like that, especially when it was like a school of at least 50 fish. So hopefully this really does pay off with a nice sheep's head. I wanna catch my biggest sheep's head ever which shouldn't be that hard to beat because my biggest was about 16 inches. So if you're planning a fishing trip down here when you come on vacation, there's some basic gear that you'll need. All the gear that you see me using, I'll have links in the description where you can go buy them on Amazon. So if you're planning a fishing trip down here and you haven't done this type of fishing before, go down in the description of the video and check out the links to all the gear I use. So here's why I only brought one short rod for this style of fishing. Because I can slide right next to the structure and go under docks without snagging my other poles. And the other style of fishing, I usually bring three or four rods. Just one rod today. sharp I'm thinking that it wasn't sharp it's sharp they just don't like to stay hooked I've had this issue before last time I fished for them it's really good to see that they're biting right away though I mean it really was the very first drop the bite oh yeah that's a that's a sheep's head he tore that up Got to get another bait down there as soon as possible. And I got to get this line tight so I can set the hook in them. Get ready, I'm gonna really try to set this hook hard. Oh, that's crazy, that's, I really, as soon as I possibly could, I set the hook. You wait too long and you don't get them and then it also feels like even if you do it really early you still don't get them there's a bite wow i'd really like to know what i'm doing wrong so i went a while without getting a bite in that area so it wouldn't be smart to stay there i'm gonna move on to another spot and try it if you think you know uh why i'm having such a hard time hooking the sheep's head please leave a comment down below because I'm really struggling to keep them hooked. It's crazy. It's a little one, but... Really little one. At least I got one. Not gonna measure it because I just want to get another bait down. That's, yeah, that's like not even 10 inches. But it is a sheep's head and it just stabbed me on its way out. So the water temperature is starting to get into the 60s. Spring and summer are almost here. Everything's starting to warm up. If you're vacationing down here in Beaufort on Harbor Island or Fripp Island, 
or anywhere around the Buford area and you want to do some kayak fishing and you have your own kayak I offer a kayak fishing guide service I know the area pretty well you can come out here and fish with me and I'll plan a trip based on the tides and weather I'll take you to the spots where I catch fish and show you how I catch them pretty much always ends up being a fun day on the water but there is also places around the Buford area where you can rent some basic sit on top kayaks if that's what you want to do while you're down here on vacation. Got one. A little bit bigger than the last one. Well, no, not even. <laughs> Got one though. That's sheep said number two of the day. Nowhere near a keeper size, but at least I'm trying to figure out how to cook them. Letting them chew on it just for like one second seems to be the way to hook them. That's, you know, probably a 10 inch sheep's head. gonna drop down in the same spot see if I get any more luck yeah it looks like right away they want to chew on it that was a pretty aggressive one too all right we're on the sheep's head so camera is staying on for a second see how fast I can drop one down and get a bite. So here we go, right after I had that bite and missed the hook. It's right back down there. He's already getting hit. Got, I think, yeah, I have to let him chew on it a little bit more. Feel it and then set the hook. See, they're just playing with it right now. Might need a new bait. Alright, let me try this again with a new bait. At least I know frozen fiddler crabs work when you gotta use them. Use them. Okay. Bait is down there. Feel the bite already. There we go. Alright, starting to. Oh. Wow. That sucks. That really sucks. So I somehow avoided a complete disaster. I got tangled up on the stock and I stood up to, to try to untangle everything and my hat fell off. Thankfully it didn't fall in the water, but it could have been real bad because that's where the camera is. So this day of fishing has been so good that I'm going to end this video right here and I'm going to make the other half. A second video so stay tuned for the next video that'll be coming out within a couple days thank you for watching and I hope you subscribe and wait for that next video